if they need it broken down like that, then they should be in a class that actually helps them and not just give us coloring pages and not helping us and then parade us around in the hallway embarrassing us. Hey, what's up guys? It's Katrina and welcome back to another YouTube video. If you could, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to help me grow so I can continue to make even better content. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the build. So today's build is actually a base game build. <laughs> Yeah, I had gotten some requests like this one right here about doing the base game build when I mentioned it in my last video. So I want to give you guys what you want. I'm actually going to link the video where that comment was left because there is a poll up right now so that you guys can decide which base game plus blank pack that I should do within the world that that pack came from. And it is currently tied and I want to know which one you guys want better. You can hit the eye icon at any point during this video. So at at the end of the video go ahead and hit that go back to that video and vote in that poll so I can see which kind of build you guys want to see this one in particular though is a family style Cape Cod home that I thought fit really well in Willow Creek and to be honest guys Cape Cods are some of my favorite style homes ever since I was little like little little. I have wanted to live in a Cape Cod style home. I've always thought they were so charming and if I could choose the first house that I actually buy, which I mean I guess I can, I would like it to be a Cape Cod style home. And of course that'll also go with whoever I'm buying a home with. Their opinion will matter too, but look if it was up to me, Cape Cod all the way. I love them. They're so charming. But then again that's down the road. I don't see myself like buying buying a home until I'm settling down I'm married and I'm trying to start a family and that's not happening right now your girl's too young and this is not the economy y'all your girl's bro like people who can start a family and get settled this young at like 22 more power to you guys I wish you the best of luck I on the other hand I am dealing with college debt going to college and all that jazz so we here we live in get that American dream guys or whatever you know we can go ahead and stop that right there because that's not what this channel is but like I said this is more of like a family style home it's not really a starter home I think it's a little bit expensive for that I think it's around 80,000 simoleons I'll go ahead and pop up what it looks like on the gallery right here and you guys can go ahead and check me out on the gallery this is up there it's been play tested and my name on the gallery is Katie Mac and the spelling will be down below in the description along with all my other social stuff but it's a two bedroom two bath house. Both of them are full baths so you get a shower and tub combo in both of them. You know we love some shower tub combos in The Sims 4. That's what we need more. We need more shower tub combos and I know little Simsy says this all the time but we need more. It's the most realistic thing about bathrooms in The Sims 4. I feel like everybody has a shower tub combo. I have never lived in a house that doesn't have at least one shower tub combo. Like the only house that I've lived in that doesn't have a shower tub combo in every single bathroom that's not a half bath is my parents most recent house which in their master bathroom they have a like big it's not a jacuzzi tub but it's kind of like that style just without the jacuzzis the jets if you will and then they also have a shower but the other bathroom that we use that's like where the kids bedrooms are and stuff it's got a shower tub combo and they all yeah they all look the same and they all look like that one from parenthood in the sims but if we could have the parenthood one and better shower curtains my day would be made y'all I, I think I'd cry and I don't want to have to get custom content for that because I want you guys to be able to download these builds you know okay okay I'm done ranting I'm done ranting we all know we need more basic stuff in the sims I'm not I'm I'm preaching to the choir <laughs> but one good thing about this build is I remember to put curtains on the windows I feel like as a builder my biggest downfall is I forget to put curtains on everything literally I don't know what my problem is it's not like we didn't have curtains or at least I can't remember the sims 4 not having curtains at any point but I always forget about curtains dude I don't know what my problem is I always forget curtains but I put them in this build I put them in here and nobody has 
said anything about it, I'm surprised because every time I go and edit a video, I'm like, I forgot curtains again. Are you kidding me? How did you forget curtains? Okay, so on to the bad news. And unfortunately, there's bad news. So if you notice, this video is a little short for my speed builds. Okay, basically what happened was there was two hours worth of raw footage for this build. And halfway through, I stopped recording and I went back because, you know, your girl wanted some food halfway through. Two hours is a long time just to sit in one spot and build. We all know that. Anyone who's built a house knows how the hustle be. So tell me why I ended the second hour and when I stopped recording, my computer says, unable to save file, recording lost. What? You're telling me I just lost an hour of footage like that? Yep, I sure did. We learned a lesson here and that is move things to iMovie more often so that your computer doesn't get confused and not save anything. I'm just upset because I'm saving it on an external hard drive, like the recording itself, and it's a two terabyte hard drive, and I still have like 1.8 terabytes. I barely touched the storage on the external hard drive, and I lost an hour worth of footage. That's nothing compared to the rest of the storage on there. If y'all have any advice for that, I'd love to hear it, because now the only thing I can think of is to transfer the files into iMovie as I'm going. It, I just feel like it's going to add a lot of extra steps, so if you guys have any idea as to the reason why my computer keeps doing this, even though I'm using an external hard drive, I'd love to know because I'm new to this and I don't know everything and I'd like to think I'm really good with technology, but I'm not. So I'm leveling with you guys here. I have no idea why this is happening. So if you guys have any insight, I'd love to hear it. So what does that mean for this build? Basically what it means is you don't get to see me furnish the rest of the kitchen, the parents' bedroom, that little office space off the bedroom, and basically like all the landscaping. All of it is gone. It's missing. It took forever to do landscaping. I probably would have cut a lot of it down anyways, but you guys would have seen little highlights here and there. I do have photos of the entire build at the end of this video, so you guys can see all the landscaping, the parents' bedroom, and that little office space, and how the kitchen ended up at the end. And like I said, you can always go to the gallery and download it yourself and see what it's like in-game. So yeah, sorry Sorry about that guys. I tried my best, but things happen. But basically the kind of vibe I went for with this home is very eclectic in a way. I went for more of like a traditional looking house. I've got like traditional looking counters. I love the counters that I use in the kitchen with the little like tile top. I don't use those as often because I feel like they look out of place in my homes because they're very, they can end up looking very fancy and but I felt like it fit in this home and I kind of added little knickknacks and stuff that looks like they would have collected it over the years. Maybe they got it from the family before. Like like from the grandparents and stuff. It was stuff that was passed down. I found another excuse to use a chicken. I like using little chicken things. I think we have like two chicken statues in The Sims 4 and I don't know why, I just really like using them. <laughs> they, they're cute, I don't know, I like them. I just feel like a lot of people have chickens in their kitchen. People like to use them as kitchen decorations and I get it, it fits. Kinda. Maybe, maybe it's just like a southern thing, but I don't know. I used to live in the Midwest and a lot of people had chickens in their kitchens. <laughs> I wonder how many times I can say chicken, chickens in their kitchen in a video. It's like a tongue twister too. I keep messing it up. I had to edit out like five versions of me saying chickens in the kitchen, which could kind of bring me into a story time slash insight into Katrina's life. I like to include these, one, because I think it adds interest into the videos, like it's hard to watch just a build video where people talk about the type of curtains they use and whatnot, at least I think it is, so I like to add little interesting things in the audio for you guys to listen to while you watch me build a house, you know? Disclaimer, I'm not trying to bash anyone who just makes builds where they're talking about what they're doing in the build, it's just not my style, so... That's why I include story times. But two, I like being able to kind of put my life into these so that you guys feel a connection with me and I can kind of build that relationship with you guys because that's what I really want. I want to be able to connect with my audience and all that good stuff, you know? So the condensed version of the story is I have a lisp, like a pretty bad one. Here, let me let me demonstrate. And this is very vulnerable for me. Let me tell you, it's vulnerable. 
All right, you ready? Sally shall she shows by the she shore. Now, in retrospect, it could be worse. But whenever I'm editing my audio, whenever it comes through, it's hard for me to listen to and I end up editing it a lot because I can't deal with it. It gives me anxiety, guys. I don't know. I got bullied for it a lot as a kid and that stuff sticks with you. I don't know. It's hard to talk about. Even just listening back to me literally showing you that tongue twister on purpose, it's it's just hard for me. So on to the story. In elementary school, it was a lot worse. Like it would affect me daily all the time. And I think it was worse than just like S's and SH's. I think it went into like similar sounds. I can't remember. I've pushed a lot of it out. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but when it's like the one thing that people will use like against you all the time, you tend to push that kind of stuff out and whatnot. So we had this program in my elementary school where once a week, I think it was once a week, it may have been twice, I don't remember. It's forever ago. I'm 22 guys. Like this is from like the first and second grade. I think I finally got out of it in like the third grade, but this program once a week, we'll go with that. They would come and they'd grab anybody with any learning disability. So they would take all of us and they'd take us to a small room and we had this one teacher for all of us in this room and let me tell you I have a couple of problems with this I mean one I didn't have a learning disability I had a speech impediment but not a learning based language disability so it didn't affect my learning and it honestly didn't affect how people understood me I never had a problem with teachers not understanding me and me falling behind because of it the only problem that I had was other kids were mean about it but I never went to anybody about that except for my parents and they were helping me at home it was just how my teeth were placed in my mouth. I had an accident when I was a kid and my teeth grew in kind of weird after it. So it just kind of affected my speech whenever I had my baby teeth. And honestly, I feel like part of the reason it's still in my vocabulary now is partially because of this program and also partially because it's just kind of learned at this point and it doesn't really affect me. Obviously, I still make voiceovers. I still talk to people. It doesn't affect my social now. Kids were just mean. But basically, they had people with like actual learning disabilities in this like special education setting. But a lot of the time, they would just instead of like catching us up on schoolwork and breaking it down for people who needed that kind of breakdown, they gave us coloring papers and we colored and they'd usually come in during our recess time and take us away from everybody else and they would bring us into the room and give us coloring papers while everybody was outside playing together and it kind of secluded us and made us seem like the really weird crowd and I feel like a lot of my social problems kind of stemmed from that section. I feel like I felt like isolated after that and it kind of affected me probably for the rest of my life. This is a little bit of a dark story but going back to that specific tongue twister. It my test to get out of that I don't even know what to call it to get out of that was I had to say that tongue twister perfectly three times in a row fast. Do you know how embarrassing that is? I don't know. I have a lot of problems with that. Maybe other people don't, but just looking back on it, I don't know how ethical it was. I I don't know. Maybe it's a hot take, but when I go back and I look back in my memory and I remember that, it kind of gives me some insight on some of the behaviors that I do now. Now, I do want to make it really clear that I don't think that anybody who has like a learning disability or anything like that is weird. I just think that the way that they went about it by excluding us from our classmates during a time of social interaction made us appear that way and I feel like it caused a lot of problems in my social life in their social life I think there are better times to do that if they need it broken down like that then they should be in a class that actually helps them and not just give us 
coloring pages and not helping us and then parade us around in the hallway embarrassing us because that's where they did it. I did this test where I finally passed it after I did it the first time because I did it the first time and she said it wasn't good enough because it wasn't fast enough and the second time I did it well both times I did it it was in the hallway while other classes were walking around going places and she just had me with this lisp in the hallway trying to say a tongue twister that normal people have problems saying in front of everybody <sighs> Anyways, that's the end of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the pictures. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you all soon.